Hello, welcome back to Kirby. How you guys doing? Dude, I actually really, really, really like this game so much that I, uh... I started playing, like, at, like, 3 a.m. last night because I couldn't sleep. Just, like, redoing the first world on my own file. I, I don't know why I did that. I like this game a ton. I don't know why it's getting, like, 7 out of 10s. I, I give it, like, an 8. I really, really give it an 8. Anyways, how are you guys doing? I hope you're all having a good day. We are a little bit earlier today, but that's mostly because I'm trying to get back on a good schedule. Um, we're gonna continue story mode. Desert, go study. My finals are done! Go away! You started streaming just as I was typing, it's a lizard. That's, that's what I do. I got that sense. I got that sense. So we're just in World 2 right now. I didn't get that far last night. We only played for like an hour 30. If you want to catch that stream, you can probably see the VOD. It's probably up right now. Um, yo, this is fucked up, though. Check this out. Look, I, I figured this out last night. Guys, those are tombstones. Those are tombstones. That Dreamland is dead. Is Kirby dead? He's a pink ghost. He could be dead, you know. It's a game theory. Let's go get a partner. I put that theory together at, like, 5 in the morning. Oh, you know what? Actually... I need to do something. Shit. I actually need to back out of this. Um, I realized I really like Control Scheme B, and you can't set that while you're in the game. So I need to, uh... I need to go back to the main menu really quick! Do you want that thing, that secret thing you told me to give you in three weeks? What was it? I can't remember what it is now. Was it Lizard? The dev sent me a key. I have it. I do plan on playing that soon. Yeah, I like this scheme. This scheme's great. No, it's not Lizard. What was it? Let's get back in now. Have you seen the difficulty slider thing? Yeah, I did. Is that for, like, the arena? I plan- Yeah, but yeah, I just kind of dropped that, though. Um, yeah, I do, uh, plan on streaming Lizard at some point. I have it. Dev was kind enough to send me a key. Very fast, after I, like, asked him about it. Um, oh, Snarky Sharky, thank you for the bits! Quick, make a video on the H. On the H? What, what H? Let's go get a partner again. It's a Kirby game. I'll give you a hint there. What? It's a Kirby game? What? What? Oh, the, the, um... I, I remember now. I, I know what you're talking about. Um, I'll have to look into that one again. I'll check it out later. Right now, I just want to play this Kirby game. That was, uh, you're talking about the fan-made Kirby's Air Ride thing that you showed me? It looks really neat. I'll look more into it now that I have time. Okay, so we were about to start Reef Resort. Also, I think I can go grab another partner. Let's see if I can grab DDD from Dreamland. H is for Haltman. That's the guy from uh, Robobot, right? It's been a while. But how are you guys doing today? Are did any of you guys pick this game up? Are you enjoying it? Can I get two Waddle Dees? Intelligent Kangaroo, thank you for the sub. That's very, very kind of you. 
Thank you for the support. So many curbs going on. This game's great. I don't know what the hell the review. What, what's up with the reviews lately? I feel like people forgot to have fun in a video game. Not everything has to be over the top and attack all your senses with like insane imagery. Games like this are great. Kirby knows what it's doing. It has a good formula. I am perfectly fine with this game. Just as it is. And you know what? People say the partner system makes it too easy. You can say goodbye to your partners whenever the heck you want. If you only need them for like a few puzzles throughout the game, you know what? Th that's fine. Whatever. Play the rest of the game as just base Kirby then if you want it to be hard. 7 out of 10 means they didn't pay enough for a good review. <laughs> well, that's a hot take. But I completely agree. The major complaints are the even for a modi Cur modern modi Kirby game. Modern Kirby game, Kirby General, it's ridiculously easy. So play without the partners. Play as base Kirby. Do this. See that? Do that. Do that the whole game. There. You got difficulty. No Kirby game's really that hard, though. Honestly. I don't remember- I can't recall any Kirby games that are that difficult. Like, almost every Kirby game's ridiculously easy. Except for Kirby's Dream Land 2 on the Game Boy. That game, it kind of gets hard, and, uh, you don't really see it coming. But that's an old game. Also, the difficulty setting? Well, that's not for the story mode. That's for a different mode, I think. I, I haven't- I've, I don't think I have access to that yet. But also, yeah, there's, like, True Arena, too. The story modes are always easy! Can I light the- oh. Wait. Oh. Oh, I need to block that up. Okay, I need- I need, uh... Hmm. DDD, what are you doing? No, that's not what I wanted you guys to do. Come on. What? Don't attack the fish! What are you doing? DDD, what? Come on, guys. Look. I just want- I just want to have a friend, okay? Alright. So now we got... That. Maybe... Okay, you know what to do. There you go, Chumbrella! Perfect, thank you. And I told him to do that. I like that. I like the feeling of camaraderie that this game gives. Oh shit. And look at all that treasure. It's fucking great. This game's fucking beautiful, it's a masterpiece. This was in the demo, it's that easy. I didn't play the demo. I actually, like, avoided a ton of spoilers for this game. I don't know anything going on in it beyond, like, what I've been shown so far. And I like it. I like it a lot. Haven't watched any videos on it, haven't seen any pictures, really. I'm enjoying this. I came in with no expectations. And it got a Kirby game, and I... I'm really happy with that, because the last time we got a Kirby game on a home console, that was, uh, Rainbow Curse, and that game is weird. Not a bad game, but it's a weird game, and it's experimental as hell. Have you played Triple Deluxe? Yes. Have you played Robobutt? I did not play Robobutt, uh... I watched others play Robobutt. <laughs> I really want to play Robobutt, though. I was upset that I couldn't stream it, because I don't have a 3DS capture card. And I guess, because I'm a big baby, that, that wound up with me not playing it, and just watching someone else play it. I'm dumb like that. <laughs> Lolita Phoenix, thank you for the sub. Thank you for that. It's very, very kind of you. The last real console Kirby was Kirby 64. No, it was Kirby Wii. With the galaxy moves? What about Return to Dreamland? Return to Dreamland. Yeah, that was that was for the Wii, right? That was a good one. I actually did enjoy that one. Even though like some of the the, the power suck abilities were a little cheap. 
and like the uh, the mega abilities were gimmicky. Oh, Mad Bagel, thank you for the sub. I like how this game does the um, the abilities. I like comp combining abilities with like different abilities and then getting like I don't know tandem abilities. I guess is what I would call them. You wouldn't mind bosses not completely evaporating at four players. I mean, you can just take them on solo. You can say goodbye to anyone you want. I could tell Waddle. I could tell Waddle D to go fuck off, but I'm not a dick. I'm, I want him here. I, I'm glad he's here. I want that guy. I want that guy. I want that guy. Okay, now you can go away, Waddle D. Now I have Dribbly. You can say goodbye by pressing L plus Y. Actually, it's L, R, and A. You can spam hearts at mini-bosses to befriend them. Wait, can you? I didn't know that. I think I missed a fuse. Hold on. Is there one over here? No. I mean, the music's great. The, the aesthetic's great. Everything's great. This game is great. Seriously don't understand reviews right now. Oh, you know what? I actually do need Waddle D back. So we're gonna do that. I'm, I gotta... <sighs> Dribbly, you gotta get out of here. I'm sorry, Waddle D. I'm sorry. Will you, can you ever forgive me? Wait a minute. I need you to, like, do this thing twice, though. How's he gonna do it twice? He can only do it once. Okay, get over here. Get over here! Get over here! Waddle Dee! What, what the fuck are you doing? Guys, I need two Waddle Dees. But I have another Waddle... I gotta get rid of one of my, one of my special Waddle Dees. You, they expected a challenging game, except a game for babies. That's what people have the problem with. I, it's like as if they never played a Kirby game before, though. Like, the story mode's always been really easy. And then you unlock the other modes, and then it gets harder. And for what I understand, that's kind of how this one is. There we go. Can't you hop on its back and control it? Yeah. I did not mean to splash... To, to, to go over that way. There you go. There's nothing wrong with just enjoying a game that's just like, I don't know, pleasant to play. I like this game. You push the big switch that opens an extra stage on the world map. I, I, I seriously can't recall any Kirby game that was actually, like, hard. So I don't know where these, like, the reviews come from where they're expecting that. They're comparing it to, like, other entries saying, like, they were more enjoyable, you think? Yeah. I could see that if you're comparing it to other games, but I mean, it's like, well, what's enjoyable to you then, though? What if, what if I have a different, what if I just enjoy it all the same? I feel like that's so subjective. Like, if they made this game hard, then people would complain the game was too hard. And then they make it, like, just normal, and then people say it's too easy. People don't know what they want. I know what I wanted, and I got it. And that's why I like this game. I got a Kirby game. It's also Kirby in HD, and it's pretty. Could you imagine, though, if they actually did make this game hard, though? They'd just be like, it's the Dark Souls of Kirby games. And then and then some reviewer gets stuck in the tutorial for, like, 45 minutes trying to get over a jump. 
It would just be that shit all over again. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I, want, I wanted to befriend him. Let me befriend you! Alright, uh, let's get rid of one of my waddledees. Now I have a cook friend. What does he do? What do you do? What, what is your story? He can ladle, he can up ladle, plateware, cook pot, and super supper! Cook Pot and Super Supper will be available for Chef Kawasaki after some time passes. Cook Pot Luck Supper Party. So now we got Gorman Ramsey. Super or Supper. I mean, honestly, this game, I don't feel like it deviates too much from the difficulty of, like, past Kirby games for the last decade. <laughs> I mean, if you want hard Kirby games, just go back to the NES, I guess, in the Game Boy era. Those are the difficult ones. But I don't think Nintendo's really interested in, like, going back to that. Kirby doesn't get those moves if he absorbs Chef. It's just a partner character. Doesn't he just get, like, the, the normal, like, uh, Chef move where he just, like, bangs his pots and then everyone jumps in the kettle? Hi. Yeah, all the helpers have victory dances. Inside Islands. Got an extra stage, okay. I did not get the, sp the puzzle piece on that stage. There's still secrets to be found there. You're making me want this. God forbid. Why you stream when I go to work? I can't help it, I just wanted to play a Kirby game. You can always watch the VOD. It's just a very good-looking game. I mean, you can tell, like, they put a lot of work into that, just how this game looks in general, I feel. Oh, kind of want to go up there. Can you get a sp abilities from the spiders now? I don't know. Oh, is this Kirby's Dream Land 2 music? Yes, it is. Wait, what is this? Yes, there are spider abilities now. Did I not notice your sub? I, I did. Oh my god, I did not. Awkward dude in chat, thank you for the sub. See, this is why I have those alerts and notifications, because, like, even with them, I I'll, f I'll forget. Let's see. There's a puzzle here. Someone's got to get up there. What, what are you doing? Friend bounce. Desert, you're enjoying this too much. I need, think you need to curb your enthusiasm. That was really good. Okay, I hit the thing. Are we done? Oh, yeah, that he hit that, and then it... it okay. No, we are done here. And now I have a hat. I like how the puzzle pieces are kind of hard to find sometimes, though. It makes you think. Not every puzzle in this game is, is so easy. Sometimes you do have to use your brain a bit. You're leaving, Awkward Dude, in chat? Why? If you have to go, that's fine. Thank you for stopping by and saying hello, though. Sorry, Mr. Sub. I do appreciate it a lot. I, I just, I don't know, I get so sidetracked by the games itself, and then I just want to... Ah! Uh, I get sucked in! And I don't notice anything! 
I think that's a joke. Oh. I felt bad. Hop on my web. And I like how the allies will help you figure out some of the more obscure puzzles. I do think that's neat. I don't think the game is really playing itself at that point. I think it's some more like... I don't know. It's a theme thing. It's like, oh, your friends know how to do it. Use your friends. Your friends can help you. It's cute. I like it. I have no problems with it. I want to try plug for a bit. You were just joking around. Oh, okay. <laughs> Reviewers have no friends. I wouldn't say that. Technically, I'm a reviewer. Are streamers reviewers? Could I, could I, could I, could I put that on my resume? Could I say, could I say I reviewed video games? When, when I apply for like, I don't know, a vet tech job? <laughs> Friends are dumb. This is not the game for you then. Streamers are streamers. Okay, but, but, but uh, do they qualify as reviewers because they have to play a game live and then, like, they give their opinions on it? Like, like, when, when a dev sends me a key, right? And they want my, and they want my take on it. They want my take on their game and they want me to be honest with their game. That's reviewing the game, right? They get the raw emotional impact. Never compare yourself to a reviewer, Desert. You're too good for that. Actually, I feel like I'm just right for that. Did you not see me die against the easiest boss in Breath of the Wild last night? Solidifying my skill level. <laughs> what qualifications do you have for becoming a veterinarian? I review video games. You're hired. See, that in a perfect world, that, that would be what would happen. This is nuts! What is happening? Try as they might, they could not stop the curb. They could not curb his momentum. How is everyone not dead from plug electrocuting the water? I think everyone in this universe is made out of rubber. That's why everyone looks like that. They got that sheen to them. That luster. That rubbery luster. This looks like a secret. It is. Look at the Waddle Dee sleeping. He's sleeping, guys. Wake up! This might be fresh water. I wonder what it smells like. According to Connor, water has a smell. I'm telling him he got some stanky ass water. Water does not have a smell. That's why it's water. Smells like water. Describe the smell of water. You can't. Water does not smell or taste. If you taste or smell things in your water, it's probably because, like, you're drinking tap water, and that- what, 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 this guy is cooking up some stew! It's probably because you, like, I don't know, like, if you look up the statistics for, like, your tap water, usually it has stuff in it. Like, minerals. Or, uh, oh god, what the fuck is going on?! I love it. I love the cluster fuckiness. What was I talking about? Water. Oh, it's all the way up there. Get up there! Nah, we don't need it. They add minerals to give water a natural flavor. Oh, is that what fluoride does? Mmm. Natural flavoring of fluoride. Actually, there's like a legal limit of contaminants that they can have in your water supply. And if you look up your, like, local water, um, distributor, like, they have to legally put that shit, like, into a, uh, a pamphlet for the levels. <laughs> 
Fluoride is for teeth. No, that's calcium. Not enough people brush their teeth, so we gotta sneak it into the water. <laughs> Hi. What's your favorite power-up so far, Desert? Um, I really like... I really like the one I have right now, actually. Uh, the, uh... Suplex. Suplex is just always been my favorite power because just because it's so silly and in this one you can like do it to just throw everyone around the screen you moved into a new place a couple days ago and hot water comes out cloudy and then becomes clear after sitting for three to five seconds should i be worried no that's pretty normal that's really normal if you boil the tap water where I live, like, it leaves, like, a milky residue. <laughs> but it's it's safe. It, if, if it wasn't safe, you, everyone would be dead. It's just calcium. That's all it is. That's literally all it is. It's calcium. Seriously. Don't worry about it. Stop asking questions. Hard water. Yeah. That's why some people have, like, um, those filters for their sink. Because they don't like the look of it, or they think it's, like, bad for you. It's actually not bad for you. It builds strong bones, I guess. This curb looks neat. It is neat. Hello. I'm a loser dog. Thank you for the sub! It's very, very nice of you. I appreciate that. Oh yeah, you can jump on backs, and you can do their attacks. I like that. Boiled water is a water- Boiled water in a water heater does fuck with the taste when cooking. But does it give it a smell? You know, you could always just boil your water into a distillery, and then just, like, have it drip drop into uh, a cup. And then you got purify clean water. I think I need firepower. I'm definitely gonna need firepower for this world. I can't break any of this ice! It gives it a watery smell. Tap water smells like a water hose. What does a water hose smell like? That doesn't give me, like, a sense of what it smells like. There's a puzzle piece here, and I can't get it. Because I'm not hot enough. It absorbs the minerals in your body. What, the water does? You, you tell me the water's stealing my minerals? It gives you deficiencies. Distilled water is dangerous to drink. Oh, you're talking about distilled water. Really? What are you talking about? I've never heard that. Is it really that like that? Distilled water does. So you're telling me that drinking boiled water from the drinking the steam droplets from boiled water will, will make me sick. It'll make you sick if you drink it. Really? I didn't know that. I feel like I should know that then. Over time, yeah. Why does it make you sick? Is it because it's like... Hydrogen bonds or something? That's interesting, man. Because of those free radicals. Is that what they're called? The 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 when the a bunch of hydrogen protein like proteins molecules are just like floating around, waiting to bond to shit. Absence of electrolytes, maybe. Um, I don't know. Why would pure H two O be bad for you? Let's see if we can make a. Uh, a theory. 
it, that's when all the nutritional supplements used to tell me when you were selling expensive. Oh, that's what all new the nutritional supplements used to tell you when you were selling when they were selling you expensive things. That 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 pure water is bad for you. When you boil water, you're creating an extremely corrosive substance. This is blowing my mind. I need to study up on water. The people selling them told you that. God, I didn't know- I didn't know water was so dangerous. We gotta do something about this. Water- guys, water has to be stopped. Water has to be stopped. They, they say we're running out of water in the world, well then I say good. It's too dangerous. But wait a minute. That means- that means because the ice caps are melting that more water's gonna be in the world. Guys, we have to stop the melting of the ice caps. We gotta refreeze them. It's too dangerous! They say we're running out of ice, you know. I, I, I say good. I'm gonna melt this peg. Good, water's dangerous. So many things make sense now! <laughs> You know, your body's 70% water. My god. What about your water addiction? Can you be addicted to water? Wait a minute, can you? Can you? Because, like, without water, you die. It's a physical addiction. This is some cosmic brain chat right now. You can be allergic to water? Wait a minute, what? <laughs> nah. -uh. What are you talking about? That's like being allergic to air. It's true. Nah. -uh. Too much water is bad. Apparently! That seems to be the, the lesson of the day today. Oh, hey, awesome Jacoby. How you doing, dude? Thank you for that raid. Give yourself a shout out. That's my that's my friend, my, my mod, awesome Jacoby. He's a good dude. You should check him out and follow him. He works really hard on the streaming. Hydro poisoning? That's a thing. Oh, I know that's a thing. But that that's because like you you have too much water, then your cells can take it, and then they burst. Which is another fun word. Burst. It's true, they break out in a bad rash if they have a shower. I I didn't know about this. What, what would that disease be called, or that specific allergy? Interesting. The heck? Friend bridge! But wait, who's gonna cross it? Oh. Well, are you gonna do it? Oh! You gotta move up and down. Alright, there you go. There you go. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. What was it about distilled water that was so bad? If you if you remove all the like the the calcium and stuff from water, like from tap water, did, did we ever like come up with a resolution for why that was? Because I'm seriously still interested in that. 
Water bonds with minerals. So so it steals your minerals. It it's it steals them. Desert, you inspired me to get this game. This is a good game! It's a fun, pleasant experience. I'm having a great time playing this. I blew him a kiss goodbye. In a survive, it removes minerals in a survival situation. It can fuck you, but you just could eat dirt. Def <laughs> Don't eat dirt. Don't eat dirt. That's gross. That can't be good for you. Oh, I fucked up. How come water needs all those minerals? What, why is it taking them from you? What's it doing with them? Hi. Become a worm. Eat the dirt. No, you're not a worm. Don't eat the dirt. It's not a good idea. <laughs> Oh wait, I lost my hammer. Wait a minute, <laughs> where's my, where's my fucking, <laughs> did I just launch it off? Oh. Bye bye hammer. Let's see, I can become a ninja. That'll work. Hammer throw is a one time use. Give, give puzzle piece. But honestly, seriously though, going back to like what spawned this whole like stupid conversation that was absolute nonsense. There's nothing wrong with your tap water. If it ha if the reason why it's just a little bit cloudy sometimes is because there's probably calcium in it. That's it. Maybe it's better for you than milk. Did you guys know that almond milk is probably better for you than cow milk because it has more calcium and vitamin E? And it don't even got the lactose in it. I actually really like almond milk. I feel less sick after I like, I don't know, for a while there like when I was drinking milk a lot. Like normal milk. It was kind of making me a little sick. I feel like that happens to people as they get older, though. But almond milk makes me feel okay. Almond water is great. It's not milk. They call it milk, though. Better than coconut milk. Coconut milk tastes weird. You drank almond milk and then you projectile vomited. That is very unfortunate. Are you allergic to nuts? Then don't drink it. That, that might be what happened there. Please, God, do not drink almond milk if you are allergic to nuts. That's such a common, like, thing to be allergic to. I wonder why that is. Have you activated your almonds recently? How do I do that? Do I pour water on them? Okay, you gotta be ninja to get past that. It, I was thinking, like, maybe ice, but no. You eat peanuts and you're fine. Huh. Oh! Nani! Yeah, food allergies are terrible. I feel so bad for people who have those. Like, um, like my mom is allergic to, uh, what was it? What was it? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I know what it is. I can't figure out the, f I can't remember the name of it. Uh, sc scal scalps, scallions, scowls. I feel so dumb right now. 
You ever have a word on your on your tip of your tongue, but you can't remember what it is exactly, so you can't really say it? Scout, scout, blah, 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 blah. That, that stupid invertebrate that lives in the ocean. Scallops! Shellfish! Yes, that. Scallops! Yeah, so like whenever like I go out to eat with my my parents, we have to make sure there's no scallops. Didn't it, I didn't get it though. Rap scallions. <laughs> I can eat scallops perfectly fine. I like scallops. They're great. I'm really glad I don't have that. But I feel so bad for like I feel so bad whenever we eat and it's just like I really want like say to get like a sushi roll, if for example, if we go out to get sushi whenever they visit, and the place has a scallops roll or something, and it's like we can't get that, and then I feel bad, like, like, cause she'll like sometimes like she'll like go um, like oh that looks good, and then she'll see like it says it has scallops in it, and then she'll be like oh I can't eat that, and she'll be like you can get it if you want, and I'm like no it's fine, cause I'm worried it's like it's gonna touch her food, and then and then there'll be scalp residue in, in the food, and then she'll get sick. I like fish. I really love fish. Salmon's great. My local grocery store started selling, like, microwavable salmon packs. And it works really fucking well. And they're super cheap. And they also got, like, tilapia. You ever grill salmon? Yeah. Fake crab sushi is kind of... Lame. I, I really don't like that stuff. You gotta kind of be in the mood for it. That's more of... I feel like that's more of, like, American... Um, <laughs> American sushi. But I really like, you know, tuna. Uh, I guess I was about to say yellowtail, but that's also tuna. <laughs> Salmon's great. I like fish egg. Call out post for Desert P. This dude eats grocery store sushi. Yeah, I do. Well, you got a problem with it? The Listen, the, the grocery store I go to, the, the, the nice lady who makes the sushi there, she knows what she's fucking doing. She knows what she's doing. I, I have told her, like, you, you, you are actually a good sushi chef. I don't know why you're lowering yourself by working here. I didn't ever say that though, but she she actually makes great shit. I'm I'm glad because it's a, it's affordable and it tastes fine. <laughs> Eat gas station sushi. No no no, that's that prepackaged shit. No, this stuff is like made. Like you can watch them make it. A sous chef? That was good, Harris Bow. Yeah, gas station sushi is real. I've seen that. What's that brand? It's like Okami or something? It looks so bad. It looks... It looks like... It looks fake. I don't know. It looks like a... Like, you know, like... How a McDonald's toy has that certain, like, aesthetic to it, where it looks, like, really cheap and shoddy. It looks like that, but in food form. Oh, we got an extra stage. Good. Nature's Navel. I forgot the puzzle piece in this one. I'm gonna have to go back through a lot of levels. Yeah, there's, like, this gas station sushi brand that they sell around here called Okami. And I, re I actually gave it a shot once because I was like, I love that game, and I'm an idiot like that. My god, it was so fucking... I couldn't even finish it. It was so bad. It was so bad! I didn't know it was... You were allowed to sell food that tasted that bad. I'm never getting rid of Chef Boy. He is here forever. I want Whip Guy. Wester. And you know, now we got Okami on the Switch. I'm actually really, I'm really glad about that. I'm really glad people finally can play that on a Nintendo console again. 
I was wondering when the fuck that would happen because it was really weird that it like came to PC and everything else. And it had been on the Wii. You tried Walmart sushi once and it was so bad you returned it? Did they, did they, did they let you actually return it? That's fucking great. Wait a minute, there's uh oh, okay, I need firepower to get that one. Are you going to try out Sonic Mania Plus? Wait, what? What do you mean Sonic Mania Plus? You gonna not bother playing it through it again just for Mighty and Ray. Mighty and Ray are playable in it? Wait a minute, there was a Sega thing today. Was that what it was? I loved Sonic Mania. Yo, if Sonic Mania is getting more content, I would I would love to play that. Yes. It was just announced. Is is it gonna be like uh price DLC or what? That sounds that sounds like a great time. I really enjoyed that game. I was sad when it was over. Sonic Mania is a fantastic game. Alright, I got that switch. Good. It's free? Oh, well then I'll definitely pick it up. When does it come out? They also teased something with Sonic R. That was that was leaked a while back that they were doing something like that with Sonic R or something. They, someone said like they were making a, a, a racing game with Sonic characters again. That wasn't Sega All-Stars. I guess that turned out to be true. What if I'm missing anything up here? Nope. Maybe it'll restore Boss Rush? What, the Sonic Mania update? The original didn't have a Boss Rush, did it? They're gonna be animated shorts based on Mania called Sonic Mania Adventures. Really? I'm glad Sega's realizing then that that game was fucking great. Maybe they should, uh, let Christian Whitehead make more video games? That that would be a good idea. He knows what he's doing. I mean... I think it's great that Forces came out and was just like... I don't know... Terrible? Well, it's not great that it is. I think it's, um... I think it's unfortunate, I think I should say. <laughs> not great. Why the fuck did I say it's great? Forces was so bad. <laughs> but the, but then Sonic Mania was, like, really good. And then it's like, oh, so we know who can make a good Sonic game. Well, why don't you let that guy make Sonic games? How about, how about that? That might be a good idea. You should do that. You should do that. Let that dude make the games. Desert, did you just kiss the cook? You, you dang well know I did. Now do this one. Oh, you got it. Good job. I actually was gonna make him hit the block, and then that key would have been lost. The AI is, once again, smarter than me. It was heavily implied by the level design that there was a boss rush with the heavies in the last level, remember? Oh! Right, the cut content from the last level in Sonic Mania. Um... I don't know if they restored that. Apparently that was due to Sonic Team's meddling with the game to get it, I guess, out faster or something? I don't know. It was really weird. And then those heavies appear in the final boss fight in weird segments where they can actually be defeated. The end of Sonic Mania was... full of stuff like that. It was kind of weird. Still a fantastic game. It didn't, like, it didn't make it worse or anything. It was just like, oh, you can clearly see where there were some design decisions uh, that were, uh, made at the last minute there. What do you mean the game has to be fun? Game should be fun. I think Chef's dying. Well, let's help him. What is this guy? Wait a minute, What? what is he? Hold on! What's this do? Nani? What? 
festival dance attack up. <laughs> that was great. So that's like microphone then? But it's only like a one-shot thing. Oh shit. Two bosses! Ah! I need stars! Well, it's a good thing I have friends because I don't have any powers right now. But I'm about to become a cook! Everybody get into the bucket! And my- I'm just like literally beating her over the head with my mallet. Or my- my- my spoon. And my pan. That was explosive and ridiculous. I don't care that the boss fights are easy. They're still fun for me. Would it be nice if they lasted a little bit longer? Yeah, they would be. But you know what? I don't care. Nice. Oh, I finished one! Oh, it was DDD upside down! I was like, who is that person? Who is that face? That's some nice art. I like that. You finished the first celebration picture. See all pictures in the picture gallery. Very good. Nice. Oh, there's a boss coming up. Hold on, guys. I, I, I need to, uh, I'll be right back. Let me take care of something really quick. Am I back? Yes. All right. This looks like Meta Knight. Maybe it's Meta Knight, maybe it's not. We'll find out. Will this be Brawl Meta Knight? <laughs> maybe. Switch. I like this music already. Oh, that was Beetle! Oh, wait. That was suplex power, wasn't it? I like the way these stages are designed. Kirby stages always look really nice. They're always built really nice, too. Oh, wait, there's a puzzle there. I want that... I want that puzzle piece. Wait. Still life. I, I didn't mean to do that. So from what I understand, those like little, like, I don't know, introductions to their new attacks, those only happen once? But do they happen again when you start the game up again? Like if you come back from like a, a Switch reboot? Whatever happened to Adeline from Kirby 64? I'm not sure. That character hasn't been around for a while. 
Yeah, you did that one last stream. Okay, so eventually, you, like, there's an option to turn off the animations, actually. So... Might do that at some point. Friendstar! <laughs> it's kind of a throwback to, uh, some of the Shooting Star segments on the SNES. Wasn't there a video about Adeline recently? I don't know, was there? Oh, check it out. Powers affect the star. That's interesting. Is there more stuff over here? Yes, there is. Wait a minute, what? I kinda wanna go back. Wait, was that was that a, a roundabout door over here? No, it was a it was a regular door. Maybe Adeline went to college, so she can't be with them anymore. That makes me sad. That is like Toy Story levels of sad. Toy Story 4, and he is now like 50 years old. Woody is in a toy chest and hasn't seen the light of day in about 20 years. He's gone mad. I still think Toy Story 2 is, is way better than Toy Story 3. You had a friend in me. That's a good song for this game. They should have gotten uh, Randy Newman to make the music for this. Could you just imagine? You got a friend in me. Whatever happened to Randy Newman? You never hear his music anymore. I can't get past this. This is wa this wall was impenetrable by lightning. Oh. That would do it. X. Oh, you can switch. Oh, check that out. Oh, but it, it th then it changes everyone else. Oh, okay, so what what happens if I'm D to D? Randy Newman became Randy Oldman. D to D, what happened to you? Oh no! We've lost D to D. Well, this is a new power. D to D is now a a, a new. She turned me into a newt! I got better. You can get DDD back. I know. I just wasn't expecting that to happen with him. This game has really fun powers. I like this segment a lot. Seven out of ten, my ass. This is this is good. I give this an eight. Ooh, wait, that's is that fire? Do I need I need fire for that? Let me see if I can find some fire. Did you just reference blazing dragons? I don't know what that is. Forty-three lives. Yeah, but that's the case with every Kirby game. There we go. I'd say most Kirby games have that problem. Yeah, that was a Monty Python reference I did. You have 84 lives at the moment? Is Vinny not playing this game? I thought he said last night he was getting it. I don't know, ask him! Pretty sure he said he was getting it, though.
void. Hmm. Chef Kawasaki's pretty OP. I like him. But I think he's making this a little too easy. Let's try Bird out for a while. Didn't I say earlier I would never get rid of Chef Boy? I lied. Sakurai didn't create Kirby, did he? I thought he did. Oh. Oh, hold on, Meta Knight. Hold on, Meta Knight. Hold on. Hold on! Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. We can't, we can't have these. This has to be between us. See, you can get rid of them if you want. And then you can see that I'm not actually that good at this game. I only fight Meta Knight one to one. Ah! Oh! Stop it! Oh! Oh, he knocked the sword out of me! Jesus, Meta Knight, come on! Ah! I don't know, guys, this game's too easy. The partner system makes this game way too easy. Ooh. Did I get him? <gasps> Fuck! Nope, that's not getting him! Oh shit, now he's serious. Oh, now he gets a partner, though. Well, that's just cheap, Meta Knight. That dive attack is gonna get me killed. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die. Oh no. Oh no. What is this? Wait, what, what, what are you doing now? Now, okay, now he became one. Huh. What is this? What are you doing? What is that? What is that? No. I, I'm, I'm very wary of him. Good. Heh, heh, heh. Come on! Ha! Ha ha! Whoa! Ooh! Ooh! What is this? That's not good. I don't like that. Almost there. Okay, he's doing the two two person thing again. No! <laughs> Are you okay? Are we friends again? <gasps> You're naked! Oh my god. That was a lot of fun. I don't know what people are talking about. This game is great. <laughs> This game needs gooey? It does have gooey. I swear it has gooey. Is that cheese?
You could hear Meta Knight's four kids voice during that fight. What was his four kids voice again? I actually can't remember. Gooey is going to be in an update on the 29th. Along with Rick and Morty. I mean, <laughs> Rick and Marks. Wow. Did you create the bearded dragon emote art? Yep. I made them all. Dream friend Meta Knight. Oh, sweet. You actually can get him now. Yeah, Rick and Morty's going to be in the update. They're going to tie it into season four. Wait, a boss fight already? What is this? Gatehouse Road. What is this? I want to go get Meta Knight, actually, before I do this. I know she didn't have any friends. Is it possible to get through the levels without getting OP friends along the way? You can dismiss friends whenever you want. Some puzzles require you to have, like, maybe one, two, or up to four friends for, like, a quick segment. But for, like, the boss fights and stuff, you can just solo them if you really want to. And usually when the game requires you to have friends, like, it'll just throw them at you. And then you can just be done with them later. What world are you in, Mr. Bagona? I think I'm in World 3 now. I like the friend system, though. I have no problems with it. Damn it! You're not Meta Knight. Whatever. Fortress of Shadows. Jam Bastion. The more friends you have going in a battle, the harder it can become. Wait, what? Really? What do you what do you mean? So I, I fought Meta Knight at his hardest mode? The game actually makes the fights harder because you have more friends? So when you initiate the Meta Knight fight, if you go in with with three allies. Are you saying that he's harder if I dismiss them all? Like, way harder than if I were to go in alone? Is that, is that true? I would really like to know if that's actually true, because that, that actually wouldn't... That's actually an interesting thing. I don't know if that's real, though. Where, where did you get that info? Maybe. Difficulty scaling. No, I mean, like, Meta Knight normally splits into four if you have four friends. Oh, okay, so he was... He scaled down to 1v1 AI. So the game does take into account that you're only by yourself. It's just a slight difficulty increase with four people. So the fights play out differently then a little bit. Was your spirit animal tomato? What do you mean, tomato? What are you talking about, Sad Vega? What are you talking about? What is this? Skull. That's a cool thing. I didn't actually notice that the fights would be different with different numbers of characters. Tomato Steve. Who is Tomato Steve? I can't remember who Tomato Steve is. Am I supposed to know who Tomato Steve is? I feel like I'm supposed to know. You guys are acting like that. I don't have a plug. You're sad that the, the CPU are kind of non-optional? But they are, though. I could, do th I could do this whole level probably right now, beyond, like, unless there's a fourth segment with a, with a two-person door or something. Like, this whole segment I could have done by myself. The only times you really need a partner in this game is, like, for specific instances that require power combos. And even then, it's like, it's not unheard of for a Kirby game. Superstar had a, at least, one, like, had a partner system. You just only have one partner. And people love that game. So you could, let's, let's say you play through this game with only one partner. It's not that bad.
You gotta go, Sad Vega. I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by and saying hello. I feel like people are trying to find problems with this game. You're not gonna find them. This game's beautiful. It's perfect. I love it. Nah, it's 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 a, it, it's probably got its flaws. Probably, maybe, nah. Still, I like it. I just, I'm just enjoying a good Kirby game. Actually, what is that guy? Do you have a power? What is your power? Nesp. What, what, what do you do? What do you do? Psychokinesis. Oh, he's psych. Ooh, this is new. Okay, th this is new. All right, um, dismount. The only thing I don't like about the partner system in this one is, you know how in like Superstar Saga, you can you can turn your partners into um, Kirby powers. I don't know how you can do that in this one because when you dismiss them, like when you dismiss them, they just poof. He was in Robo Butt. Yeah, I, I forgot to play that one, unfortunately. You just eat them. You can just suck them up. Wait, what? <gasps> oh. Well, well, thank you for letting me know about that. Now I feel like a fool. You mean Superstar Ultra? I, I mean, whatever Kirby game had the things that I was talking about. What? Who are they? Pawn and Con? Wait a minute, these are like, um... Oh! This is, this is a reference to an old, old boss. I forget, yeah, Dreamland 3 boss. They've been remixed a few times, right? They were also in Kirby 64. I think. Yeah, they are an old boss. Good job, Waddle D. <laughs> this is cute. I got a teacup. Yeah, it's Lou and Low. That's their names. <laughs> Oh, bomb, 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 bomb! This is cool, I like this. This is a nice remix of that, of this classic boss, actually. It's a lot faster paced. Lo, 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 and la, la, la. They, they change their names a lot, I've noticed. Coming naked. Now they're all tuckered out. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> now we're friends. Good work, friends. That's great. You basically are befriending every boss in this. Friendship's the theme. Hi. Eastern Wall. Can I actually explore this a little bit? I like how you can explore the overworlds. I was saying last night, this reminds me of 3D World a lot. Which is a great game. This is like Kirby's 3D World.
I actually wouldn't be against 3D World coming to the Switch, because that was a good game. I feel like a lot of people didn't play it. Some nice aesthetic going on. You're kind of surprised 3D World hasn't been poured to Switch? Me too, man. Oh, these don't- you can't be friends with them. It's the Heartless. What is this? Jab- Jammer Jab. Is that new? You got a power pull. When does Hyrule Warriors come out? Did that get a date? Was that summer? The Mega Man, like the regular Mega Man collection, that got a date, right? That's uh, April, right? Hyrule Warriors is May, May 18th. Oh, I was about to say this. I thought you, I thought you said March 18th for a second. I was like, what do you mean? I don't got enough money to get buy all these video games. <laughs> Shit! Wait, I, I, I need, I need electricity. Where I need to get some electricity. You feel like if 3D World is ported, it's going to at least take a year more because of Odyssey. Possibly, yeah. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I, I don't want that. Uh... Wait! Would you chill the fuck out? I'm trying to get... God damn it. Now I gotta do this again. Hold on. And then... Let me see. Uh, select. Gotcha. Jammer jab is a yandare. He wants you for your himself. <laughs> I love static power. Plasma, that's the name. Yeah, this one's great. I, I really don't mind the ports, honestly. I'm just glad that people who didn't get a Wii U can play games that were actually pretty good, but the, the, the system wasn't selling well, and it wasn't selling well for a good reason. But the games are fine. As someone who owns a Wii U, I mean, and those games already, I mean, I probably won't buy a lot of these ports. Unless they have, like, significant, like, upgrades to them. It really depends. Like, for Hyrule Warriors, there was a lot of DLC that was not on the Wii U version that now is on the Switch version, so I actually really want that. I feel like that is the kind of- that's the kind of port I want. If they're gonna port the games, they might as well do it like that. Man, I love this power. <laughs> but like, yeah, I'm excited to play as like the king. The, uh, the king of red lions. And, uh, I actually never got the, the, the DLC for the Wii U version either, so it's a lot of it's just gonna be new content for me. On to one package. Kirby looks really good so far. It is good! It's, it's, it's Kirby! What you see is what you get. Just a little Kirb who loves adventure. Actually, that's the wrong series. You can play as the boat? Yeah, you can! In the 3DS version, the King of Red Lions is playable. And now th that DLC is coming to the Switch. I mean, yeah, if a year from now they're still doing, like, ports as a significant part of, like, Directs, of course, yeah, that's gonna feel a little cheap. But I think they're just getting them out of the way. And you know what, that's fine. The Switch is only a, a year old now. And it's been a very good first year, and they had a lot of great titles. I want the bug. He is a good boy. How Star Ally's been fantastic. 
I'm glad I have this game. Oh, hey, I need you to throw people. Okay, you want me to... Throw me! I love that. Bugsy is great, because he's, he's like, not only a fun mini-boss to fight, his powers are great. Suplex is a fantastic power pool. Probably one of the more fun ones. And then this game makes it even funner, because you can just throw your partners around like crazy. You can't wait for the 3DS to die? I feel like the 3DS is done. I, I don't know why they keep making more and more and more games for the 3DS that should probably be on the Switch. Um... Luigi's Mansion being probably the biggest sore thumb right now for me. Like, I get it. I understand. The 3DS is a massive, massive, like, install base. So whatever you make for it, it of course, it's gonna sell gangbusters because so many people have a 3DS. But don't you want your new console to do well? <laughs> it's probably a lot easier to make games than the 3DS. Yes, of course. But it's just, I don't know. I feel like, uh, maybe they should let it die. It has so many games on it, it still sells gangbusters no matter what. Even if it doesn't get new games, I'm sure it's going to be making money for them for the next, like, decade. That thing prints money so much. But yeah, Luigi's Mansion, like, I get it. It's also easier to make, like, uh, that game because they already have Dark Moon. I just, I just wish I had a Switch version. I would like to play that game in HD on an actual Nintendo console. That, you know, wasn't my 3DS. Like, people can emulate that game in HD, but I don't want to do that. I wouldn't, I would like to play it for realsies. And show them that I would want more Luigi's Mansion titles by buying it. Because, you know, money talks. Part of the reason why I gave this game a chance. And I'm glad I did. Kinda wish they had made the multi-plat like Captain Toad. Yeah, what 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 is going on there? Captain Toad gets multi-plat. Captain Toad's a great series. I really want to play the new Captain Toad. But Luigi's Mansion doesn't get that? What are they trying to say about Luigi? What are they trying to say about Toad's status over Luigi? Desert, get the lethal beetle boy. It's suplex. We already have big beetle boy. Oh. He's a dead. I fucked up. I can't believe we live in a world where Toad has more of a chance to get a multi-plat release than the big L himself. What a world we live in. There we go. Perfect. I'm actually excited for uh, Mario Tennis Aces. Even though it looks like the last Mario Tennis game, like the same engine and stuff, I still think it looks really fun, and I think the adventure mode is what's going to make it, like, stand out and not be, like, I don't know, boring. It looks like a good time. Mario Tennis is a solid series. I like the Mario spin-off games a lot. Got the extra stage, good. And I mean, have you seen that Waluigi? He looks fabulous. He looks amazing. He's got the rose in his mouth. He knows. He know he hot. Alright? Wait a minute, there was there's there's two doors here. There's one back there too. Wait, wait, wait a minute, what the fuck? Hold on. Hold on. What was that shit? Why are there two doors in this level? Yeah, look at that! What is that? What's going on here? Oh! Maybe that's the door... Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. That's that's the regular exit. But this exit is for, is for the people who got the extra stage. I'm a dummy. 
This is this is the real gamer exit. Maybe Waluigi will be in Smash this time. Do you remember when Sakurai tweeted that Waluigi was not going to be in Smash? Specifically saying just because you try hard doesn't mean you always succeed. With a picture of Waluigi. <laughs> that was so fucking savage! They said he was specifically a, a, an assist trophy. <laughs> Am I gonna stream Smash? Of course. Which one's the extra stage? There's a boss to my left. Boss to the left of me. Extra to the right. Here I am. <sighs> King K. Rule crushes the competition. I'm telling you, that should happen. At least he's not Daisy. Daisy is dead, as far as I'm concerned. We don't need Daisy anymore. Daisy wasn't even in Odyssey. No one cares. No one cares. More like King K cringe. Don't you talk about that guy like that. He is he's royalty. Gino for Smash. I don't think that's going to happen, Toaster man. I don't know. Like I guess cuz now we have we have a cloud in Smash Brothers, it's like, yeah, okay, square characters, they're on the table now, but it's still like, I... His fan base has gotten really small, honestly. There's not as much demand for Geno as there used to be, I feel. But Luigi cares. I don't think even Luigi remembers who Daisy is. They're gonna have a game where, like, Daisy shows up and Luigi doesn't even remember who she is. The next Mario game's just gonna start off with a funeral for Daisy. Crash for Smash. See, that's, that's possible now. Luigi got a divorce with Daisy. She wishes they weren't even ever dating. Did you see that Funimation challenged the Smash team to put in Goku? There was a rumor that he, like, was apparently in top of the charts somewhere, but then those results were never really released for the Smash votes. And that's probably because, like, even though they put in Bayonetta, that Bayonetta didn't actually win. I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion Bayonetta did not win the actual popularity contests. And that the costume characters did. Not to say there's anything wrong with Bayonetta. I'm just saying, like, there's so much demand for, like, K. Rule, for example. And then all we get is a costume! Speaking of Bayonetta, I really want to play that series. I haven't played any of them. You might have been thinking of a fan poll. I think I was. I don't know. Or just, I don't know, people making up bullshit. Which is very, very possible. Especially back when that voting was going on, there was a lot of bullshit results. People are just making shit up just to, I don't know, stir up controversy. Bayonetta 3 stream? I would have to play 1 and 2 first, but I would like to. Now that there's a, a bundle for the Switch, I, I would like to pick that up at some point. Dark Matter theme. Yeah, wait a minute, what? Is this a hint? Is this a hint towards a story? Is Dark Matter back? Am I gonna have a sword fight with Mr. Dark Matter? Maybe Zero Two is back. Meowth was supposed to be in Smash 64. I've never heard of that. Are you serious? That's a random ass character to say was going to be in Smash. They could have Sephiroth. They could have it now. I wonder if Cloud's going to be in the new Smash. That would be that'd be kind of neat if they like preserve him being in the series just because he was in Smash 4. 
because of the anime, Meowth was going to be in Smash. Interesting. There's a secret up here. I guess that makes sense, yeah. He was probably a one-off, like Snake. You see, you say that, but then, like... I don't know. We won't know until we know, huh? I feel like with the amount of height Square is trying to generate for FF7R, they would let him stay in the game. And they are really trying to generate hype for that. They're trying to sell whole consoles because of that game. Just, just having it on the radar. Even though we won't get it till about 2020. And God knows what the PS4 is going to be like then. That's, that blows my mind. They announced that game like two years ago to sell PS4s. And then they said like last year, the game's not coming out till like 2020, 2019. I feel a little cheated about that. Even though I don't even have a PS4. I feel like that's a little scummy. That's definitely milking an audience. Like, unashamedly. Welcome to the games industry. I mean, welcome to, like, Neo Square Enix. They take, like, ten years to make an unfinished game. Which is really upsetting lately. Like, I, I've never... I've never really had an interest in playing FF15. Nothing about it seems interesting to me, and I just hear it's an unfinished mess. You bought a PS3 thinking you needed to play Kingdom Hearts 3. A lot of people did that. That's a good example. And then it's like they make Project Octopath Traveler, and I think that game has more charm than anything they put out recently. In, the, in their main Final Fantasy, you know, line. Fucking weird, man. You're not wrong, however, they're still in the early stages of FF7R. They keep, like, rebooting their dev cycle for that game. They keep changing hands and stuff. It's weird. You see them still milking FF15 until the remake starts gaining ground. I mean, of course they're gonna do that. Yeah. Adeline was in the art. I'll have to take a look. Can I, can I see? If I look at the picture gallery? Oh, yeah! There she is. Maybe she's in the game. I feel like... This is a hot opinion. Um, I feel like I don't want FS7R. I don't think I really ever wanted a, a, a remake like that. I think what I, what I was looking for in a modern FF7 take was like more of a remaster. I don't know. I feel like they're changing way too many things for a new audience that is not meant to be the original, like, audience. They're making it for people who have never played the game before, I feel. That's okay. It's just, I don't know, it makes me want it less. I guess what I really just wanted was an HD version of the game with characters that didn't look like Legos. With, like, almost the exact same, like, style. Maybe some fixed battle systems, maybe some of the, the glitches removed. Or maybe even still intact. But I wanted a mostly similar experience, just like with a higher polygon count. Because I still really like FF7. The original's still there, of course. I'm just like, am I gonna buy a whole console for it? I don't think so. I'm glad they're making, like, the story again for new generations, though. I mean, if, if that's what the new generation likes, the new the new gamers on the block, then whatever. At least they don't have to suffer through Advent Children. Can't wait for FF Pachinko. <laughs> FF7 Sans Popeye Arms. What about Undertale? We'll never get a game like Nine. Nine is a very unique experience. Um, but they already did remaster Nine. And the remaster's pretty good. The remaster is everything I wanted from that. It was just nine, but with more, more, more art. More good looking art and models. That was it. That's all I needed. And I really had fun playing that. Ah! 
Yeah, FF9 is a great story. Um, if you've never played it, I would say check it out, pick it up. Um, it's very, very fantastical, I would say. It, it's it's more like the original Final Fantasies in the sense that, like, you know, it's very medieval, fantasy-inspired. Um, a lot of just, like, gods and deities and chivalrous knights. It's kind of like a remix of Final Fa of the first Final Fantasy in some ways, with like a real, s with like a real apparent story. Like uh, the first Final Fantasy's story is pretty loose ended, with a lot of like translation issues. But I like it. Hey, can you can you uh, throw people? Yeah, yeah, you. Throw me. Hit me. Wait, why didn't why didn't you throw me? Bugsy, come on. I'm about to call you Bubsy if you don't get your act together. This guy are sick. That's not where I wanted you. <laughs> I need to get down here, dude. Listen, this is the spot. This, this right here. Do it. Maybe that. Maybe you can't actually do it this way. You know what? You probably can't do it this way. This probably isn't right. I probably need a different power. Yeah, FF9 is a great game. Um, it's not a hard to follow story either, so it's just I don't know. It's very memorable. Xenogears translation has some rough moments. Yes, it does. I feel like I need a electric hammer for this thing. Hey, you're a cookie pants. How dare you? I think. Xenogear should get a remake, or at least a remaster. I don't know if a remake would be good, would it be a great idea. I think it's, uh, maybe like a remaster, but like the second disc maybe actually getting, uh, fleshed out gameplay for the parts they had to wrap up quickly. Like a director's cut. That would be good. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. I think, I think Xenogear should get like a director's cut. That's what I want for that series. Is it gonna happen? I f I fucking doubt it. <laughs> Don't you snicker at me. Bunjum. <laughs> That's how we greet people in, on my planet. I am Francisca, one of the three generals of magic. Together, we command the Fortress of Shadows, known as Jam Bastion. We wish to assemble the dark Jamba heart pieces that were scattered across the universe. Once we do, our most twisted of visions will finally be untwisted, unthawed, unfurled. But I do not wish to waste my time with pointless chatter, so I won't. Just know that, should you attempt to oppose us... I'll have no choice but to put you on ice! Forever! Did you just make a pun? Oh my god, you did. She's the ice boss and she says she's gonna put me on ice. This is great, this is good dialogue, it's, it's localization puns. Is that what we're doing now? Just, just skeleton boss has got a bone to pick with you! Fire boss, things are really heating up! Paper boss, I'm gonna cut you to pieces! What an ice girl! That's cold, baby! Oh, this is a mess! Curtain boss, it's curtains for you. <laughs> cool it with the puns. You cool it with the puns. We're fighting an ice boss. She seems pretty frigid to you. So what I'm being told about these bosses is their difficulty changes depending on the number of partners you have, and the, their AI will adapt based on the number of partners you have. 
So I guess she's doing more screen filling stuff because I have four partners, and if I had less, then she would be kind of adapting to making it more of an easier fight for that many people. She just kiad. She really needs to chill out. But she was only faking. Adeline, where'd you go? Hi. Okay, fuzzy guy person. We'll see you later. I understand. Thank you for stopping by and saying hello. Wait, I didn't unlock the... I didn't get the thing. Wait a minute, where was the switch for this? Aw, oh, man. Western Outer Wall. I noticed that boss, like, I remember in the intro, there was, like, a cult. It looked like the, uh, the Return to Dreamland guy. What's his name? Ma Magnamar? Ma Magalos? Ma 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 Magadong? Megadong? Magalo? That guy. Ma Magad Magalore. Yeah, they looked like that. And that dude, that dude, uh, turned out to be not so nice. Yeah, Megadong. Mega Man. Mega Lovania. Power Pole Extend! <laughs> he go boing. I wish this game an online co op. It seems like the perfect game to, like, start- try that out with. Go, go, Gadget, extend! Miney Crafter. Wait a minute, pa paint? Why is there a paint thing here? I haven't seen paint in forever! You would love a remake of the PS2 GTA games. I mean, they kind of have HD versions of those already. Especially because they're on PC. I remember I, I used to mod GTA 3 as a kid. Man, that was so long ago. Oh, here's pain. Become my friend. I already have pull, so I don't need this guy. You watched an episode of Inspector Gadget recently, and the voice acting made you super uncomfortable. <laughs> mm. There's a key, but where is the key? I mean, there's a door, but where's the key? Where's the key? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Dude, it's uh, streamer blindness syndrome. I'm telling you, it's real. I, I, I'm a huge advocate for it. It's a real thing. It affects lots of streamers. I'm included. Vinny's included. Even Panutes is included. We gotta make people more aware. Got the button. Is that the for the, the, the character thing? Yes, no, it's for extra stage. Oh, I thought it was for the um the dream trying, whatever. It happens to you too, Servies. I think it happens. To everyone, because your brain is so split. You gotta talk. You gotta. You gotta walk. You gotta attack. You gotta read. You gotta not suck. Heck, 
Panut. Don't you dare talk about my friend that way. I feel like these segments would be really fun to do in co-op. I'm actually upset I, like, don't have anyone I can do that with. Like, you can tell this- this was specifically made for, like, you know, two actual people to do. The computer does a good job at still making it fun, but I- you're only getting half the experience. Like, uh, Zito... ...and, uh... ...and Natchcat, they were playing co-op, and that looked like a lot of fun. They're probably the first people I saw playing this game co-op. They were a little ahead of me, though, so I didn't get to watch the whole thing. I didn't want to get spoiled. What?! Kirby is mort. This time's for Bulbs. This time's for Bulbs, it's too easy. Looks like you became a curb sandwich. That rock had a crush on you. You're excited for Sea of Thieves service? I am too. I th that is what is that Monday? Is that Monday? No, that's Tuesday. Man. I'm glad that's coming out during, like, my break, and I get, like, a good week to play it. Desert, why you play the Babby games? Because it turns out some Babby games are really, really fun. And in some ways, aren't we all just babies? Just really big ones? There's no such thing as adults, there's just big babies everywhere. That's a Joe Rogan quote. One that I particularly agree with. Don't agree with everything that dude says, but I agree with that one. Desert, why you no shoot? You missed the whole segment of me shooting with sh shooting star powers. There's a lot of shooting in this game. Just not doing it right now. Ate your fill of tomatoes yet. What's with the tomatoes mean? What, what are you guys always talking about tomatoes now? First was avocados. Extra stages feel like a chore? That's, that's your opinion. I like them. <gasps> Wait, this song! This is Kirby 64! Yo, Kirby 64 music? This is, uh, what world was this? I, I remember this one. I remember this level. This was a cave level. This was the cave level where you had, at the end, you had to have, like, bomb and rock or something? I'm a choo-choo train. You choo-choo choose me? That's great. These, like, four-partner gimmick sections are so fucking gimmicky, but you know what? I like them because most of them are actually unique. Like, I haven't seen a single one really be repeated yet. And I like that. I like that they keep coming up with new things. I, didn't, I wouldn't ex have expected a fucking train power. That's funny as shit. I love it. It's also cute. The bug running in the back is hilarious. <laughs> I can't believe I still have Bugsy. I need to play Epic Yarn. That is apparently a very good game. And I've heard nothing but praise for it, but I never actually got to play it. I hear that's one that's also really fun if you co-op. I think Nintendo should, like, definitely make HD versions from that era. I think it's been long enough. HD Epic Yarn would probably be cool. Yarn is so relaxing, played after exam. I've heard that before. I've heard it's a really, really relaxing game. You would honestly donate it? No, 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 you don't need to donate it. 
Like, I, I have a P.O. box. I don't know. I don't really even use it. Like, I think I've used it once. <laughs> Unnecessary. Epic Yarn is basically a lullaby in video game form. You'd love it. That's- that is- that is what I keep hearing about it, and that's why I really want to try it. Like, for chill streams. How did you get the extra stage before this one, Desert? I don't- I- I can't remember. I can barely remember what I said five seconds ago. Who are you? I'm just kidding. But no, I actually don't remember. Looks like his goose was cooked! Yeah, Kirby 64 music, baby. Soup, son! Kirby cooks his own friends. Did you get the previous extra stage? The one that feels like hell compared to the others? I honestly couldn't tell you. Miracle Matter music? Wait, what? Where? Right now? This is Miracle Matter? No. Or was that for the boss fight? I didn't notice. Your Dr. Pepper's extra cardinated. Cardinated. Dedo dated. And it's still making loud sizzling noises after five minutes. Are you are you trying to like wait for it to become flat? It was during the boss fight. Oh, okay. Desert P, speak English. No. Hi. Dead old dated pepper. Who, who, who is that? That's a new one. You don't know why, but you gargle soda in your mouth sometimes. That's a good way to get cavities. You make sure you brush your teeth. Ah! Whoa! Wow, that was a great jump! Number 15, Dedo Dated Pepper. I don't drink a lot of soda anymore. I occasionally have a Dr. Pepper when I, like, go out to, like, Jersey Mike's or something, because they got it. But usually I'll just have iced tea. Top 15 Kirby games. This one is... What, what is this? What is this power combo I need to do here? Oh, I think I see. I think it's bomb, and probably electricity. Electric bomb. I think it's electric bomb. Let's replace Vividria. So, light me up. Zap bomb. Uh... Oh, wait. I'm- I'm an idiot. Hold on. HOLD ON! You got rid of your support. Oh, there we- Oh, that's how you roll it. Wait a minute, but- How did I do that? I can need to look at the move list. Bomb drop. Bomb ball. Dash plus Y. Okay. I think the wind- Oh, I know it's got it! There we go. No, I was right. I feel accomplished. I was able to figure that out. I like these puzzles. I actually really enjoyed that. It didn't take long for me to figure out, but I don't know. I still feel like I got an aha, an aha moment out of that. Like, 
Like, I don't think Kirby puzzles have to be portal level. Short, sweet, and simple. But makes you think. Makes you use your cere cerebellum. You need to turn the tips off. Yeah, I don't have them on. If you're playing with the tips on... I mean, the game's just gonna tell you what to do. So turn them off! You just found out you can have two Banana Waddle Ds on your team, and now you have a blue one with you. Can you have two DDDs? Do you get, like, a second DDD or something? Yes, you can have two. That doesn't make sense canonically. All right, we got the extra stage. His name is just DD. Three DDDDs. What can I do for you, King DDD? I need me a monster to capture that damn Kirby! Make sure you get a money back guarantee! She's fired up. She's the fire boss. Yes, you! I have a burning question for- Fuck off. She has a burning question for me. You're the one who was so rude to sweet Francisca, aren't you? Don't you dare try to deny it! Fiend! Coward! I swear have you harmed a single blue hair on her perfect head? You'll burn for it! Damn blasted! I will never ever forgive you! Now you must face Flamburger! That's me! For what you've done! I'll scorch you to such a degree that... That... Even tasty, toasty marshmallows will seem like ice cubes compared to you! <laughs> eh, she made a few puns. That's really hot, though. Toasty marshmallows. Being ice cubes compared to me. That's quite a statement. Looks like we're gonna need some Rost Berries for this. That is such... a good reference. Do you think they say jam fucker when they swear? <laughs> no. No, no one in Kirby World cusses. Unless Kirby says Borb. I am no Borb. Ah! Oh, baby. It was rough! Desert, why you know lore? Because I forgot. I actually forgot. You post it every time in chat? Oh. I'm telling you, man. Streamer blindness syndrome. Hi. Maybe I'm a borb.
You hope you get some more accessories for the Kirby Nendo Doid. That reference Star Allies. What are Nendo Doids? Are those like the the big like uh, action figures with the customizable pieces? I only started seeing those recently. You feel like at this point you're just using streamer blindness syndrome as an excuse. The worst part about it is that it's cunning and insidious, and that you never know when it's gonna strike. Especially when you forget you have it. Some squeak squad music. I hear the lore for this game doesn't really get that good anyways until like the very end. The noisome bastard that stomps on your pizza. Yes, he is. But we love him anyways. Because he had a great game, and he dabs in it. Did you guys see the devs post, like, the Shadow of the Colossus mod for the game that they made? Where it's just like, he's grappling onto a giant Noid. I don't think it's public. It, it's just, it was on their Twitter. When uh, Shadow Colossus HD came out, they made that. Ah! Judge, have mercy! God! Damn, Plug! Oh, he gives everyone kisses. Fucking death train. Knocking the power right out of me. You can tell this is Game Boy sound font, like Game Boy Advance. Just by the notes. Oh! That was fucking close. This is the DS sound fun. Oh shit, you're right. One or the other. I'm a dumb dumb. You could tell it was some kind of like mobile device. But you're right, it is DS. You're not a dummy, I'm playing. This is Goemon's Great Adventure. Dude, I still need to stream that. Uh, I have it. That game is very different from, uh, Mystical Ninja 64, though. The starring Goemon. All right, let's see. What are they telling me to do here? I have electricity and water. So let's become water then. So what's the puzzle here? Oh. I mean, that'll work, yeah. Okay. Pits change. What changed pitch? Me? It happens sometimes. Sometimes I like I, I go through reverse puberty. Sometimes I, I go through puberty on stream. Wait a minute, actually. Oh, I wanted the rock! The song when you entered that room was pitched up. You sound beautiful as all. Stop! Become my friend. 
I'm done with this guy. All right, now. Wait a minute. Actually, I was thinking. I was thinking of actually doing this the other way around, but whatever. I think I just sent him the wrong way. Oh, we're chaining? Yeah, I sent him the wrong way. Um, I don't even know why I decided to do this. I just felt like doing it, because I hadn't done that yet this stream. I like these power combos. They're cool. I like doing them. Is this Kirby 64 boss music? No, I don't think so. Bugsy's about to die. Bugsy, no! Help. Help. Wait, I gotta- I gotta help him. Revive? There's a revive? Oh, yeah! I like that. I like there's a revive. Be gone. Be gone! I don't even want it. Actually, wait, I do want it. Here you go, everybody. Let's have a snack. I'll give you a little kiss. I'll give you a little kiss. I'll give you another kiss. There we go. Got a key. Two keys. Some good treasure. Yeah, the bridge references to uh, Kirby 64, right? That that was um, wasn't that ice and electricity power? This game gives a surplus amount of lives. It does, but a lot of Kirby games do. At least since like, at least since like Nintendo 64, Kirby games have done that. Have you seen the artist statues yet? Is that the, um, the one where he makes, like, uh, King Dedede? Or, like, Meta Knight? If so, then yes. Has Desert used cleaning yet? Oh, yeah! Wait, what was the name of this level? That's a heavenly hell? I'm sorry, what? Heavenly Hall. Okay. I was about to say, you can't say hell in a Kirby game! They got away with it in Rabbids, but they did not, not this time. Heavenly Hell. Kirby wouldn't, Kirby wouldn't cuss. Unless he said Borb. That's the only bad word he knows. Calling Reggie. You're talking about this, right? The statues? Kirby's a good artist. No, you didn't mean those. What are you talking about? Painter. Oh, that's painter. Paintbrush? Oh, this is sculpture. When you go, uh... <laughs> no, I haven't done this yet. That's great! <gasps> it's full of references! Oh, 
Oh, let's do it again. No, 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 that's fridge. That's not it. There we go. That's from, uh, Triple Deluxe! What else is there? Get Beetle Friend. Hold on, I want to do more of uh, this. No, not that. I mean, we already got a Waddle D. There. Okay. The Mauis. That's a vase. Another Maui. How many are there? Yeah, the Sectonia flower. I really enjoyed Triple Deluxe. I think we saw them all. <laughs> it feels like that, the, the, um, what was it, Susie? Feels like she's pretty rare. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not getting her again. What does it mean? Why does Kirby... Well, Kirby... He misses her. He misses her that much, huh? He, he wants to immortalize her memory in a statue. Do you think Kirby can fall in love? Look how happy that beetle is. Now we can have father and son. Yeah. She has actual arms in that sculpture. Yeah, she does! Kirby is dating Choo Choo. He's taken. Whomst? <laughs> Let me guess, you're gonna make puns about darkness. Bonjour. I am Zan Partizani, the eldest of the three generals of magic. At first, I thought... You to be just a simpleton with a knack for annoyance. <laughs> now it's clear that you're an interfering interloper. But I'm afraid your unwanted wanderings end here. By the will of our beloved liege, Lord Highness, officent of doom. <laughs> I shall destroy you here and now. <laughs> oh, wait, that's... Okay, I'll do the lore. Here you go. Okay, so Zan Partizan. The dutiful leader of the three Jambastion mages, Lightning General Zan Partizan seems to energize the fortress itself and uses high-speed attacks to render her prey helpless. At the bidding of some unknown power, she hunts for dark hearts. So she's a lightning power person. I don't care. I like Cam Clark voice. Let me have my fun! Get a load of this! Bam! Yo, wait a minute. That, that's... What is that? Is that... Those are some, uh... What is it? Suzano? Medallions? Why am I aiming that way? You alright? You dizzy? Susano drums. Raijin. That's what it was. I am sorry, I'm a Baka Gaijin. Susano's thunder though, right? Raijin's lightning. Jam blasted. Uh, how could there be such opposition on a measly and remote planet like this? Well, it matters not. This Jamba heart piece is already within my grasp. Listen here, you tiny ball of puffy pink mischief. What you call me? For all I care, you and this Jam Bastion can rot in ruin forever. Why'd you do that? Jump bye! 
Did you hear what she called me? That's not okay. But Kirby doesn't care. Some jam bullshit. <laughs> So this is like the first time I've ever seen the wheel like reused, I think. Time to roll out. Yeah, wheel power has already been in the game. It was in the uh, tutorial section. No! Ah. Mulligan. Wait a minute. The hardest jump in the game right here. Everybody dies there. <laughs> really? Wait a minute, really? <laughs> I don't feel so bad then. There you go. Just gotta go a little bit before. You did too. <laughs> Game for babies, huh? This jump is harder than Dark Beast Ganon. <laughs> That's savage. I gotta pay attention to these yumps. You made your lives back. Yeah, I did. You're right. Everything's gonna be okay. Another wheel? Or is it back to the choo-choo train? Oh, we're doing the bridge! Go, little cat, go! No, wait, don't go! Oh, he almost died. He almost got crushed. That was so close. Another bridge? Okay, here we go. No! Yes. Keep going, keep going! Perfect! Friend bridge seems kind of limited in use. It's cute. That's the point. Nani? Friend star! Now we have shoot. <laughs> this is nuts. in the door oh, it's a puzzle piece here I need that RIP that puzzle piece was it a big one or was it a regular one Kirby goes off that was a big puzzle piece no shit I'm gonna go get that. I'm gonna come back for that, because this is a long-ass level, and I want that. Calm down, I still got 57 lives. Just 
just keep going, just keep going, just keep- GOT IT! Kirby's fucking pissed. How- how- where's the box art for this game? Is Kirby fucking pissed on the box art for this game, too? I love that. I love how that's a thing. That in American releases of Kirby games... For a while there, he was always just fucking pissed, and no one knew why. No, he's not. He's actually happy for once. Good. I'm glad he got over his anger issues. For a while there, I was worried. I was wondering why Kirby was so angry whenever he was in a, on a box in America. He's very happy this time. That's good. What a weird fucking change. Bye, bandana DDD. Bye, bandana waddle D. Bandana DDD. The whole world's falling apart. These worlds seem short, though. I mean, they're no shorter than other Kirby game worlds. Pretty standard amount of levels. The angrier the mascot, the better it sells in America. You can't have a mascot smiling. When's Mario going to get pissed? Mario Odyssey, except on the box, he's flipping you the bird. Far-flung starlight heroes. Before they knew it, they were in deep space. Wait a minute, there's... Oh, shit, I never read these. So, World of Peace, Dreamland. A disaster of catastrophic proportions has occurred in this peaceful land. King Dedede has stolen all the food for himself. The nerve of that guy. Now Kirby must set out on a grand adventure with a new group of friends. And then it goes... Chase the dark hearts across the world of miracles. Hold up to wield mighty friend abilities. Such as Kirby and Pals continue their journey of companionship across the vast seas of rolling hills. And then it was... Even the stoic Mennonite has fallen prey to the enemy's evil influence. And now their foreboding fortress has suddenly appeared. Why have they come to this land? Why? Undeterred, Kirby and his friends charge forward with gusto. And, and then... Far-flung starlight heroes. Before they knew it, they were in deep space. Looking back, they saw that planet Popstar was but a tiny glimmer in the distance. Kirby and his friends are determined to hopefully protect the peace and tasty nap times. What? Of their beloved home. Now! Become a shining star and fly! Tasty nap times. Tasty nap times? What the fuck's a tasty nap? I didn't know naps had a flavor. The best kinds of naps are tasty. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's 3D! Oh! Wait a minute. This is the galaxy of Kirby. Is Earth in this in this one? What the fuck? This is great! Is that Earth? No? Planet Frostack. Yo, this is cool. This is cool. I like this. It's 3D! It's like a new generation of video games. Uh-oh. Can't go there. Star Lavadum. It's like No Man's Sky. But more like No Curb Sky. Except you can actually play with your friends and not orbs. Did that game ever get true online, or, or, or is it still, like, magical flying orbs that annoy you? Planet Earthfall. No, it never did. What a shame. There's a whole universe for you to explore. 
The chances of you running into your friends is like one in a million. And then, like, within a week of release, two dudes found out they could be in the same spot and not see each other. That was fantastic. This is pretty. I like this world. I want to live here. Sean Murray is Irish. Desert goes Aussie. I, I, I'm so fucking bad at impressions. I can't do them. I just hope to God people know what I'm talking about. S some could say that my bad impressions are part of the joke. It's okay, desert lad. Replace Bugsy with broom men. How dare you suggest to get rid of Bugsy? I have a father and son in my party. I got the Bug Brigade. Why is Kirby cosplaying his son Wukong? Why aren't you? Huh? Don't talk to him or his son ever again. They're not even the same species of beetle. What does that got to do with it? You ever heard of adoption? Is that a Chansey? Goodbye. Alright. I'll replace Waddle Do. Actually, Broom was really good for here anyways. Because Broom can sweep up the leaves. Waddle Do isn't a bug. That's right. How do I get down there? Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Ah, fuck. I think I remember now. Okay, so... There's probably a power I need to combine to get... That leaf pile. Here. Make me win power. Bluster Staff! There you go. And everyone gets kisses. Then... Okay, you just gotta get them all. Wait, whoa! Back, come back! Ah! Uh... God damn it! How'd that happen? Hold on, and let me do that again. I'm gonna do that again. I fucked that up. All right, let's go. Failing at baby game puzzles. This is definitely a Desert Peace stream. There we go. Perfect. Man, this game is just pleasant to play. I'm having a really good time playing this, like, for real. It's just good. 
I was saying earlier, I'll say it again. I don't know what the hell all the, like, harsh criticism is for. People really wanted this to be something else. They're just like, it's a Kirby game. Like, this is a game I would play in bed. Seriously. Like, you know, one of the main selling points of the Switch. Play your games while you're comfy in bed. This is one of them, for sure. People are mad over this game. People are, like, giving this game really harsh reviews because they're saying it, it's not innovative enough. Or, like, it's, it's too easy or it's too samey. It's just like, well, it's a Kirby game. It's like, Kirby games are pretty standard fare. Like, they, they found a good formula, and they tend to make it work. The gimmick this time is friendship, and you don't even have to use all these guys. You can say goodbye to them at any point. I can say goodbye to them right now. See, look at this. Goodbye, broom guy. Get out of here. He's gone forever. He's dead. Like, I 1v1'd Meta Knight because I felt like it. Like, you don't have to do anything in this game. You can make- you can make- set your own artificial rules if you want. You want a hard Kirby game? Play without partners whenever you don't need to actually use them, and then don't use powers. Just use base Kirby. There's your hard Kirby game. Have fun. Seriously. Snarky Sharky, thank you for the bits. That's very kind of you. No, there's really never been a bad Kirby game. Can't really think of any. There's been questionable Kirby games, for sure. But they've never been bad. Like, I wasn't... I wasn't so sold on, like, Rainbow Curse. Because it was just, like, very, very different. Like, it was one of those, like, draw the lines to make Kirby go kind of games. And I'm just like, I don't like that. I don't like those style of games. But it wasn't a bad game. It was just... It wasn't what I wanted from a Kirby game. This game is beautiful. And it's been a long time since we've had, like, an actually... You know, real... I don't know, how would you describe the style of Kirby game? Like, main- mainline Kirby game? Main gameplay style Kirby game? Like, on a console? Like, it hasn't happened since Return to Dreamland. I mean, some Kirby games, maybe they left p people feeling like they weren't as good as some of the other ones, but they- I don't think they've ever been bad. Like, someone gave this game a 40 on Metacritic, and I was just like, what? the fuck? And then I read it, and it just sounded like they were looking for things to hate. And it didn't really- it didn't really make a lot of sense, honestly, that review. That's why I don't really read reviews much anymore. Kinda like to play the games myself and make my own judgments. Wait a minute, there was a thing up here? Pretty sure. Yeah, that's why Knuckle Joe's here. Okay. Yeah, these are breakable. There we go. I mean, Triple Deluxe is great, and I, you know, I didn't play Planet Robobot, and I really wish I had, because I hear it's really hard to top. But I still think this is a great game, and it doesn't deserve a fucking 40. It was at 60 on Metacritic yesterday? I don't understand that. How the fuck is this even close? I give this like an 8. I don't know, man. Don't use game review sites. Yeah, this is why I don't. Because <laughs> they're bullshit. That's why I like to watch streams over, like, reading reviews, honestly. Because then you can actually see the game in action. You can kind of make it a, a choice for yourself. And, like, not listening to, like, the streamer commentary either. Like, make your own opinions on it. And then, I don't know, if it looks fun, play it yourself. Then make your opinion. Like, don't, don't say it's a good game because I say it's a good game. I'm saying it's a good game, though. Because that's just what I think. 
be your own juge. That's right. Judge the game for yourself. Remember that IGN rated Imagine Party Babers? Imagine Party Babers? Pa Imagine Party Babies higher than God Hand. Yeah, and also higher than Pokemon Mystery Dungeon uh, Explorers of the Sky, which is probably the best fucking one in the series. Be your own Jumanji. Be your own Junji Ito. Faluna Moon? Whoa, wait, that Wispy Woods looks very evil. Would you recommend Sonic Mania? Absolutely, that is a fucking great Sonic game. Yes, I would. And with the content update that's coming out for it, that's free, makes it even better. I'm actually excited to go back to that. I'm glad to learn that they actually are adding more stuff to Sonic Mania because I would love to stream it again. Hello, Electric Eel! Hey, how you doing? It's good to see you. Thank you for the sub. It's very nice. You guys should check out Electric Eel's channel. She's a really good friend of mine. Very cool person. Very nice person. Thank you, Eel. Oh, bye. <laughs> Beetle? <laughs> he just took the die for the team. Oh. oh, you can jump through their webs. I'm a dummy. Wait a minute. I can have a whole team of, of Bugsies? Shut up. Shut up. I can't believe I just referenced that movie. I can make Beatley grow up. Look, now he's a big boy. Please don't remind me of the zoo film. <laughs> I'm glad someone remembers. Kevin Bacon and the gorilla going to like TGI Fridays. Remember when the gorilla got a, uh, a headache from drinking the cold drink too fast? That was so funny. Remember when they're driving in the car and they're singing the lyrics to that song? And they pull up the TGI Fridays, and the gorilla's just like, SHUT UP! I laughed so hard. Remember when, uh, Kevin Bacon? Uh, Kevin James. Wasn't there a scene where a dog told him, like, how to impress the ladies is by, like, peeing on stuff? And then he pees on stuff? And then the, the lady that he's trying to impress is like, ew. That movie's great. It's a great movie. It's good. Kevin James, not Bacon. I don't know why I always do that. I always say Kevin Bacon when I mean Kevin James. Had to teach you the same lesson twice. What is this? What are you doing? Yeah, it's trash. Throw it away. We're not done? We're not done. Hmm. Nani? <gasps> Wispy Woods is dead? Iggy Woods? Yiggy Woods? Yo, 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 wait, 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 this is lore. No, that's not Wispy Woods. This venerable elder is Iggy Woods, ancient king of trees. Any travelers who stray into his neck of the woods will feel the full force of nature's wrath. Also, 
I think Zito just hosted me. Thank you, Zito, for the host. Get a shout out for Zito. He's a good dude. I don't know where I am. I think I'm up in the treetops. I, I think I'm literally like stuck in his head. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Ig Dadsil. Oh my god, it's an Yggdrasil reference. Yeah, that cherry turned gold. Huh? Huh? He's doing a lot of damage. Deity's gonna die. DDD's about to be renamed Die Die Die. Hi, I'm Desert P. I make I make good jokes. I'm a funny streamer. I just cheesed that really hard. Suplex is really overpowered. <laughs> I mean, you can suplex a train in some video games. Why can't you suplex a tree? See if I can get a new partner. I want Meta Knight. They gave your Bugsy specifically for that fight so you could throw the fruit at the trees. Oh, yeah, you're right. How far are you going tonight? I don't know. Damn it! I missed. Eh, whatever. Still haven't gotten Meg Me Meta Knight from that roulette. I don't know how far I'm going. I'm just kind of having fun for right now. Uh, I might... Maybe I'll go another hour? I'm not sure. I don't want to, like, blow through this game too fast, though, so I might... Maybe I'll do, like, one more. Megan Knight? I guess whenever I start getting tired. It's kind of how it usually goes. Oh, I ruined the Bugsy family. You need to get food, so you're off for the night. Have a good night, desert. Well, you have a good night too, Skinny. I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. It's always good to see you. Desert, I have a headache. Can you make it go away? Just watch some curb, and maybe it'll go away if you do that, I guess. I don't know. Drink some tea. Sorry about your headache. Whoa, monochrome Bugsy or er, Bonkers. That's a rare bonker color. Oh. Kind of want him. Let's... Let's replace Bugsy. And now he's blue. So how do I get in there? I need electricity for that. Uh, so... No, don't! Okay, good. Alright. Bonkers, raise your hammer. Or, or DDD. Zap hammer! Well, come here first! Come on, where are you going? Listen, you got a job to do. There you go. Thank you. Jeez. I know we're rivals and everything, but you can't just take charge. We got work. 
Can't go charging off like that. Okay, here's a four. I think this is gonna be Bridges. He took a puzzle for you. Wait, did he get actually go off and get a puzzle piece? Is that what he was doing? How nice of him. Thor DDD. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. That's interesting. Okay. So how do you... I see. Clever. Clever. Not too terribly hard, but... It tickled my brain. I felt the, the smart tingles come to life for a sec there. And that's all I need from it. Kirby doesn't have to have extremely hard puzzles. He took your charge and put it on his hammer. That's one way of turning what I say into a pun. Yeah, yeah, he, he did. Did it ripen your brain? I think my brain's ripe enough. It's about to turn to mush. Watch it get super complicated. I would like that for the end, but I don't think it does. Because everyone says this game's for babies. How could a baby game ever make your brain hurt? Oh, I went the wrong way. Robobot had some kind of obtuse ones at the end. Yeah, I heard it did. Gotta train the brains of the babies. Start him young! Have him listen to Mozart! Remember that, Fad? Have your babies listen to Mozart, turn them into geniuses. Baby geniuses. Could Mozart be alive? Possibly. Yo, I want to see the scientific research behind that shit. How did they know that made the baby smarter? If they listened to Mozart. What, what proof was there of this? Okay, how do I get electric hammer down in under the water? That's a... Hmm. How do you do that? Okay, he seems to know what's up. Alright, you got that covered, but... Oh, that lowers the water. Okay, now I can do it. Okay. The kids that listen to that are now eating Tide Pods! Fuck! <laughs> you know... You know what's sad is that you might be right about this. <laughs> Jeez. Is it true that Curb is an Elon must invention waiting to happen? I don't know anything about Elon Musk. Didn't he make a convertible rocket ship? I guess he's a pretty cool guy. He's got a lot of money. Trends on Twitter a lot. Likes to spell space with an X. Who does he think he is? He sent a car into space. Is that what he did? Why?
There's no roads in space. You can't drive a car. That's dumb. That's dumb. That's not smart. Everyone says he's so smart. Why are you putting a car in space? There's no highways in space. Where are you gonna go? Why have you run out of gas, you dummy? Not gonna be able to refill your car. Because why not? Because there's no roads in gas! Maybe the rainbow road's real and he was trying to race on it. You don't need a reason to send a motherfucking car into space. First, watch your profanity. Second, yes you do. I'm sure a lot of people worked very hard to do that, whatever, whatever the point of that was, I don't know. I mean, you could put a burger into space, but who, why would you do that? Space burgers? It could happen. All that money to commit space littering. <laughs> So you could say that you've had a burger that's out of this world? Okay, that's a fair point. The funniest part is they tried to start the car without realizing the lack of air would make the internal combustion engine not work. But see, that, that makes sense to me. I would have realized that. I'd be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't even start a car in space, because you don't- you can't make fire. Because the Star Wars movies aren't real. And they- the explosions that happen to them would never happen in real life. I learned that in middle school. Shows how smart they are! Also, you can't hear laser beams in space. Star Wars isn't real? No, it's not. Sadly. Just like Mario, he ain't real either. I thought he was real. I mean, he's a plumber. That's a very believable story. And no one knows what's in them, them pipes. For all, all we know, that Super Mario movie could have been based on actual events. Plumbers aren't real either. Now you're just making shit up. Oh, look, it's Kawasaki. Hmm. I like my party as it is right now, though. We got a, we got a good thing going for us. How about that Super Mario movie coming up? I'm excited for it. I think it's gonna be great. I think that they hired the perfect studio because they are a studio that can make whole movies with nothing but baby noises in them and still like top the charts. And you know what? Mario doesn't really even talk. And it would be really weird if they had Mario have full voice dialogue in that movie. So he's probably just gonna say wahoo a whole lot. Still, I mean, who else? Would you would you hire to make a make a movie uh, full of like characters that really don't talk a lot? Toads are gonna be minions, and you know. Oh, I know. There's gonna be like a toad doing Gangnam Style. It's gonna happen. The toad's gonna be like doing dancing Gangnam Style to a jukebox, and then Luigi's gonna show up like timidly joining in, and Mario's gonna walk in in the room, and there's gonna be a record scratch, and he's gonna slap his forehead and go, "Mamma mia." It'll be great. I like Despicable Me. Hot take. The first one, at least. I didn't see the other ones. Actually, I saw two. I don't think I like two that much. Two didn't really do it for me. Oh. 
Luigi and Toad having a twerk off. It could happen. It could happen. Oh, they mad. Oh, this is an interesting twist. Okay. Woo! I like this. I like this twist. The remix boss fights in this are really neat. They did good. I don't think Marx is in the game yet. Apparently he's added on the 29th or something. In the JP version of Sunshine, Mario says, Looks like a Mario's going to have to find a job during the prologue cutscene. Are you serious? Are you bullshitting me? I've never heard that in my life. I have never heard that. Does Charles Martinet say it? Martinet? Martinet? Does Charles Marinera say it? Someone look it up. Yo, show me that. Show me that right now. Someone's gotta show me this. I've never heard of that. What are you talking about? Mario says, looks like I gotta get a job. List of Mario quotes, Japan only. Looks like Mario's gonna have to find a job. Are you f- WHAT?! Where can I find the clip of this? I see it in text, but I don't- I don't see it anywhere else. I know it's in Super Mario Sunshine, but I'm hoping to find, like, an audio rip. We're bums! We gotta get a job! I'm not finding, um... I'm not finding a, uh, an actual rip, unless... Wait, did you just find one? Potato mushroom, is that, uh... Is that of a soundbite? I got it. I got, I got the link of you, the one you posted, by the way. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Mario's conversation. An additional line removed from the international versions, Mario was saying something like, It looks like a giant pool of paint can be heard earlier in the same cutscene, right in the shot before the toad's like. Are you fucking serious? That's real? I've never heard that! Hmm! Looks like Mario is going to have to find a job! Oh my god. <laughs> That's so great! Well, tell all your friends. Mario can say full sentences. And is concerned for his work life. Everyone needs to know. That's amazing. I unlocked a planet over here. This is Extra Planet Alpha. But wait, he has a job. He's a plumber. Did they forget? Oh, wait, he's not a plumber anymore. Also, he's 24. Hmm. Didn't they retcon that he's not a plumber anymore, to be that he's a plumber again? Like, they undid it. They gave him back the job. Yeah, he's a plumber now again. <laughs> Why did they make him not a plumber? That's, that's so dumb. Oh, I don't get this puzzle. 
It's too, this is too uh, cosmic brain for me. Oh, it's the seasons changing puzzle. That's right. Oh, I wanted to kill him. Oh yeah, this is Return to Dreamland. if I can find any secrets over here. I have a feeling I should be grabbing at least... I should have grabbed that ninja power. I think I should have grabbed that. That looks like something I needed. Here. I'm gonna get rid of, uh, electricity. Yeah, I'm still playing Kirby. I like this game a lot. <laughs> it's just fun. It's because Odyssey is over, and he's in between adventures, so he still knows how to plumb, he just doesn't do it as a job when he's adventuring. Does, does, do we need this much, like, depth to Mario's character, though? Like, does it- do we need to care what he does in between games? Like, I've never cared in my whole life. <laughs> I've never cared! I don't think as a kid I ever stopped and asked myself, wait a minute, what does Mario do in between games? I think I was just like, uh, he, yeah, he's, he's a funny plumber guy. He goes and stomps the Goombas. Why is this so integral? Yeah, it's it's weird. Don't understand it. Oh, wait, there's a... There's a lot of secrets in this level. All right. You will follow the lore. No. Is Kirby circumcised? <laughs> we just don't know. Wait a minute, did their electricity just run out? Aw, oh, man. I gotta get electricity again. Somehow you drain that water. Or no, the water gets drained probably in a different season. Kirby is basically a fungus? Oh, wait. Oh, no, I needed him. Oh, that's a one-up. I need that, definitely. 67 lies, baby! See, let's get rid of that. Where's the fire guy? There he is. Yeah, they have a sweeping power. Okay, now smash it. There you go. Good work. Nice. Is Kirby pink, or are we all colorblind? He used to be actually, like, white. In Kirby 1. And then they changed his colors. And then they just made a bunch of multicolored Kirbys. Is every game the same Kirby? You gotta wonder. Desert, lose a life, please. I did earlier. It happened. Oh, you want the mean number of lives, I see. No, we don't need to do that. Hold on, let's see. Do I did I get everything from here? How do you check? Is there a way to check? No. No. Okay. Because that's the end of the level. Oh, wait, no it's not. 
He's pink because he couldn't get the blood stains off himself. Is Kirby dead? On today's episode of Game Theory, we go and take a nap and visit Dreamland to find out. Fuck you, hermit crab. Get some roast chicken. I actually haven't had bomb yet. Can I be friend? I was going to make him our friend. Why did you do that? Why did you do that, DDD? Is Kirby Bubsy? I remember there being like an actual theory that that Sonic was Bubsy. I believe it. You know, mysteriously around the time Bubsy disappeared, Sonic got taller, his eyes changed color, his games got worse. It might be a thing. It might be a thing. hell you do here is this a puzzle or not oh this is you know what this is for this is for, i should have grabbed the chef i shouldn't have been a dummy and done like a stupid victory pose that's what i was doing it was stupid i had one job you're supposed to grab chef and just eat them all oh well Anything down here? Nope. Can you even friend the crash bomb? Yeah, it had a heart over it. I was trying to do that, but then DDD had other plans. All right, um, we'll try for Meta Knight one more time. Let's see if I can grab it. Come on, Meta Knight! Gotcha! Got it! Perfect! Hmm. Nice. What moves does he got? Let me hop on your- n Not you, DDD! DDD, come on. Get out of here. There we go. Meta Knight, first introduced way back in Kirby's adventure, this warrior takes the spirit of chivalry to heart. He has set out on a journey of training, but he would never forget his connections to his friends. May new friend powers awaken and imbue his- Im imbue his blade. So he has Night Beam at full health. Overhead slash. Twice after overhead slash. Are these the same moves as uh, Return to Dreamland? He has elemental swords as well. Neat.
It's like free sword power. Is Klonoa actually a dream from the mind of Kirby? I forgot Klonoa existed. I actually really liked Klonoa 1. Never played Kl Klonoa 2. That had similar themes, though, with Kirby, didn't it? Like, it started off really, like, lighthearted, and then it would get really dark by the end. Also about Dreamlands. I heard Klonoa 2 is really good. Is that for PS2? Remember when Men and I tried to establish a military dictatorship of Dreamland? Wasn't that Superstar? <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to... He just wanted to create order in a world of chaos. And he had a big old boat that flew. To be honest, I'm starting to get a little tired. I might actually make this my last level. Ah! There's so much going on! There we go. I don't need his power, because I already got a bonkers. But I'll grab it anyways. You might need it here. Never know. Hmm. Oh, okay. So is this going to be like... You got to do all the gates or something? Yeah, it's going to be like that. Okay. It's weird how much lore there is to Kirby. It is a little strange how that started. <laughs> um, I wonder what, like, led them to do start doing that. Have they ever commented on why they started adding, like, such, like, lore and, like, such deep lore to the games? Because on the surface, it really doesn't need it, but they do it anyways. And now it's kind of just become a meme. You think it's due to the popularity? Probably. Okay, that requires ice or water. Bonkers is about to get bonked! Let's see... I think I'll take Chef Kawasaki for once. We've had bonkers for a long time. Okay, Voxy Vix. Well, I'm glad you stopped by and said hello. Um, I completely get that. It's good to see you. I am having a wonderful evening. It's been a very pleasant stream. This game is good. Okay, so the powers appear above the doors, so actually I can... It's okay that I, if I don't grab them the first time through. Huh. You love how Zelda can't keep a coherent timeline, yet Kirby has the amount of lore does. Is there a Kirby timeline, though? What are you cooking up? Ah! 
I need my hammer. Okay, good. I haven't seen Clown yet in this game. I wonder if they're ever going to bring that back. Med Knight's about to die. I'm just going to replace him. DDD is still going strong, though. I think I got, like, one door left. Oh, no. No, it seems like this side's done. No, it's not. Okay, so there is one door left. Yeah, Kirby does have the multiple worlds thing going for it, where it can have a lot of, like, lore that is loosely connected. And still have a coherent story. But then again, I don't know many people who actually keep track of the Kirby lore. Beyond, like, is Planet Earth really in Kirby lore? Because of Kirby 64. Okay, there is... Oh, there's gotta be a way to get in there. How would I... What power would get me in there that's available in this level? I wonder if there's any in this level I could use. Did Earth really happen? Is any of this real? Are we all a video game? Oh, there's... there's... there it is! There's my power I need! Mr. Frosty. Wait, now I need bonkers, too. Because there was a... there was a peg over there that I needed to slam. So slam Slam! I need to slam the peg! How would you rank this compared to other curbs? That's a good question. I don't really know. Pretty good, I would say. I'm having a lot of fun with it like I was in Triple Deluxe. But I've heard some people say this doesn't come close to Triple Deluxe, so maybe I'm dumb. I don't like ranking games. Oh yeah, DDD is hammer. Okay, then this... You can help out here, Bubsy. Oh, you need all the mini-boss powers to get through here. That's cool. Alright, let's go get that then. I think this game has a lot going for it. I think it stands on its own. I think it's a solid entry in a solid series that really doesn't ever disappoint. I like it a lot. So much that I was playing it at like 3 in the morning. I'm generally having fun with it, so I mean... I'm not bored or anything. I don't know where people are getting... I don't know why people are saying they're getting bored of the game. Like... I don't know. I guess maybe reevaluate what you think is fun, or maybe the game's just not for them. Which is fine. But don't give it a 40 because of that. That's... Like, what are you doing? The reviews seem pretty mixed. This is why I don't listen to reviews. I wanted Kirby game and I got one. If I wanted an over top game, over the top game, I would get like Bayonetta or something. Oh, you kidding me? One little piece left. Who gave it a 40? It's on Metacritic somewhere. It's like one of the lowest scores. It's like this stupid huge article too. Could it be Kirby Fatigue? I don't think there's been enough Kirby games for that to be a thing. Um... Maybe people were hoping it innovate more? Like, what would you do then? I don't know how you would innovate on Kirby when in... See, the thing about Kirby is they know it works! And the issue with, like, innovating with a series like this... 
it's a massive risk to take, and it could result in, I don't know, an experimental game that's poorly received. Like Rainbow Curse, which was very mixed. A lot of people didn't enjoy that one because it was so experimental and tried to change things too much. Some people loved it because it was experimental and changed things a lot. Basically, they like to go right down the middle with this series, and I don't blame them. But they, what, when the, the, the standard, like, gameplay for the series works really well. I think if you go in expecting a Kirby game, you'll have a good time. Like, I don't know, what, what would they do? Make it, like, 3D open world? Well, what the, you got other games for that. Kirby's what it is because it's a Kirby game. Like, when you think of Kirby game, you think of a specific style of game. I mean, Air Ride was unique, and that did well. Should they probably capitalize on Air Ride and make more of that? Yeah, they probably should. They probably really should, but we'll see if that ever happens. Where am I going with this? Kirby MMO. God, that would be so terrible. Please, no. Bring back some of the stuff Superstar did for the other modes. What, like having multiple stories in one game? Nah, maybe. Like, Great Cave Offensive. Yeah. No, I see what you mean with that. I mean, they they try to do that stuff, it seems. Like, I mean, this one has multiple hidden modes after you beat it. And a few you start out with that are like minigames, which was also part of Superstar. Still... I enjoy this game for what it is. And I think it does enough differently. This is different. This isn't in any other Kirby game. What I'm doing right now? Let me think. Is there something I need to do here to get this down? Maybe I need to cut that, but you usually need to cut it with... with sword. Can you... Oh, I see. I need to have... him in front. Right? Somehow you combine these. How do you do that? Okay, you, you, you cut it first, and then you burn it. Like that. Oh, okay. Of course Kirby... Kirby fans will enjoy this game. I'm enjoying it. Like I said, if you, if you like Kirby, you'll probably love this game. If you're not sure what to expect from Kirby, I think you'll still like this game if you go in, you know, expecting a good game. And have a reasonable understanding of what Kirby is. Which is mostly just, you know, relaxed platforming. They never have been, like, terribly difficult games. They've never been, like, very, very deep games. They've usually just been pretty middle-of-the-road fun experiences that you can play over and over again, usually with friends. I feel that this game does that very well. What do you think Kirby smells like? Cotton candy. Him big. Or she big. Grand ma'am! Grand ma'am! Fleet stones! Oh, this is me. This is actually really- She's an egg!
Nintendo, did you just meme on me? Oh boy. I, I don't look forward to the to the time when uh, Vinny or Joel gets to this segment. <laughs> Goodbye, chat there's. Chat exploder, the boss. Literally explodes. There we go. That's a Kirby 64 picture. A delicious picnic. You finished two celebration pictures. See all pictures in the picture gallery. Alright, well, I don't want to get too deep into this game on, like, the first day. Uh, so... This is... What have we done, like, total? Like, five hours total of the story mode? This stream's been only been going for three hours and thirty minutes, but... I did stream for, like, an hour thirty last night. It seems like a halfway point, kind of, maybe a little bit more than that. Probably, like, 75% through. But this has been a great game so far, and I'm getting a lot of- I'm getting my money's worth for sure. I feel like I'm having a good time. So, I think I will... ...cut it here... ...and continue it next time. Let's see. Where's the, uh... ...the back button? This is a really good game. Um, if you're curious about it, I mean, pick it up, I guess, if you can afford it. It is $60, so you're playing, you're, you are, of course, paying that Nintendo premium. 37% only, really? There's a lot more to do, and then there's these two secret modes, too. These are mini games. Um, but yeah. Seems like, uh,. I'm not even halfway through this game yet. That's pretty nice. That's a decent amount of content for this game. So, uh, I'm gonna take it easy. You guys have a great night. Um... And, uh, yeah. We'll do this again real soon. Thanks for hanging out.